Before we can get our hands dirty using Movie Magic scheduling, the first thing we have to do is export our script so that it can use this information. First thing we got to do is once you've got your green light is to make sure that you've got each the the, the numbered headings for each uh, scene in your script. Then we will go to file export script and we will scroll down to the scheduling export.sex and we will export that to our desktop and this is what we will open up in movie magic scheduling but we also before we get into that we want to make sure that we've done a rough breakdown of all the elements in our script um, I've listed all the characters that show up in the script and if we've got extras you know how many there are we need to think of the day of the days of your story how many days does your story transpire over for mine it all happens during one day um, all from scenes 1 through 22 um, we need to keep track of this because in day one your talent might be wearing one set of wardrobe and in day two they might be needing to wear a different set in order to show time passing then we need to break down all the wardrobe that your talent is going to wear um, for each of those days. And then we need to put together a prop list of everything that we will need to have on hand uh, for the production of your project. And then I've also called out some uh, visual effects. When you first open Movie Magic Scheduling, we'll go to File new schedule from template and it will take us to this default but finding that default the first time you open it is a little tricky um, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to um, go into applications movie magic movie magic scheduling movie magic data movie magic scheduling template default that only happens the first time that you use the software and otherwise it'll just go right to it and so we'll just open up the project and this is what it looks like the next thing that we want to do is to uh, import our uh, .sex file that we generated from our screenwriting software and so we'll go to file import and we will go to that .sex file and open it up. We're going to click on this button right here and we're going to set this to view on sheets and we'll see that as we scroll down page to page as I click on this move one button that we have all of our scenes The very first one is a blank, and so we can just delete that. Okay. And so now we want to click on unscheduled, all of your scenes in this boneyard, and we're going to hit Command A to select them all. And then we're going to right click in this area, just right click and move to stripboard. And then that moves them all the, them back into here and so now we will be able to uh, now we'll find that for each scene we have our scene headers so let's go back to um, the beginning the next thing we'll want to do is open our breakdown list which will tell us um, all the elements that we need to add to the program before we attach them scene to scene and so I just clicked in cast members and I'm just going to enter them and we've got mom Hit return twice. We've got 
firing squad. And there's three people in that, so I'm just going to add that. And then we will also want to do the same thing. Um, firing squad could be potentially our background actors. I know we've got a cute dog. And we've got a whole bunch of props, like toy pistols. And we've and we'll have a certain wardrobe for each um, for each scene, like a prison uniform. So enter all of those, all of these items, and then we'll go to the next step, which is attaching them to each scene. Now that we have all the data entered, then we're gonna scroll back to our very first scene, and we're gonna attach everything that we know. So in scene one, this is, we're gonna, the brief description, and he practices our quick draw. And in this particular scene, I'm going to click on cast members and we're going to check the anti box. Let's go to the next scene on the script. We have the firing squad wall. And so we'll make sure that they are both checked. We'll go to wardrobe, and we need to have uh, we need to add the uh, firing squad squad uniforms. And we need to attach them. Go. Go to the next scene. And we have the police line up, and we just need to make sure. I'm going to uncheck these guys first. And so we would just click on Annie, click on guilty prisoners, add them. And just continue on throughout the scene, um, adding all the elements that are relevant. When that's all entered, we'll go to the Element Manager and make sure that um, all the uh, elements are properly named. And there's a, that's this is where we can get in and fix our misspellings, things like that. And then we uh, want to click on this bar here, and that's going to open up our strip board. And let's have it set at horizontal C, strip board 1, default. Once we have them all organized logically, then we need to put in our day breaks and our co company moves. So up through this alley, uh, I'm going to insert a day break and see how many pages we have. And it says we have basically two pages so we know that we can do more than that so let's go through to the gothic library and it gives us three pages let's take it all the way down to the secret lair and so it's basically five pages five and a half pages and so we'll see if we can do all that in one day um, I'm gonna insert a banner here and this is going to be a company move, and this is, a base, this is basically going to be a move from downtown Norman to the campus. So I'm going to leave an hour to do that move. We're going to do another company move from the library to Gaylord, and we'll say that that'll be a 30-minute move. 
And so that lines up our first day of shooting. I'll still need to go in and uh, create a shot list to help uh, estimate times, and we can add those times later. But uh, but that sort of sets up our, our the basic expectations, and then just go ahead and continue that with the rest of your project.